Welcome to this lecture series in linear algebra. In this lecture, we'll discuss a nice puzzle. And uh, let us just get started immediately. So what we are given is we are given a subset of Rn such that the elements of this set, we have called it x. So the elements of x have the property that they are pairwise orthogonal and each of them has magnitude 1. So they are unit vectors. All right and fix epsilon greater than zero. Further assume there is something more about x. Assume that the projection of each element of the set x onto the first coordinate is at least epsilon. So there is some, you, you take an element of x and project it down to the first coordinate. You do that with every element and every time you find that the length of the projection is at least epsilon. We want to show that x cannot be too big. Okay? So, first we already know that x cannot be more than n because it is a collection of pairwise orthogonal unit vectors and hence in particular linearly independent. But there is something more we can say by this extra knowledge that the projection of every element of x is on the first coordinate is at least of magnitude epsilon. Okay? So as usual, you're encouraged to pause the video and try to find a proof for yourself before we look at what I'm going to discuss. And with that, let us proceed. So it is going to be a very short solution. So what are we given? First, let us set some notation. So let us write the set X as V1 up to VK and uh, let E1 be the vector denoted by, or rather, E1 is this vector, right? Usual notation. What are we given? We are given that the projection of any element of x onto the first coordinate, so this is the projection, but then we take the magnitude and that is at least epsilon. So this is given to us. Maybe I'll put a greater than equal to, maybe the question says greater than epsilon, but let me put a greater than equal to. So we are given this and we want to bound the size of x, meaning we want to come up with a bound on little k. And here is the observation. First we extend, extend x to an orthonormal basis. So what I mean by this is we can find what this means is that we can find vectors such that this is an orthonormal basis. Every orthonormal list of vectors can be extended to an orthonormal basis and hence we can do this. And now the final point, the magnitude of E1. Just think of E1 as any vector right now. So the magnitude of E1 squared is nothing but you take the projection of E1 onto, onto the vectors uh, of the given orthonormal basis, of any given orthonormal basis and square them and sum them, right? So just think of E1 as any vector, just, just put x here if you like, and V1 up to v, v1, uh, Vn is an orthonormal basis, so norm E1 square is equal to that. Okay, since we are working with real vector space, we do not need to put a mod here. All right, but norm E1 is clearly one. This should be in different color. So norm E1 is equal to one, and the right side is at least epsilon plus epsilon plus epsilon k times. Right? Because this is at least, ep sorry, epsilon square, I mean. This is at least epsilon square, the second one is at least epsilon square up to k terms, the rest we are happy with greater than equal to zero. We have that which is equal to 
k epsilon square and now we get 1 by epsilon square is at least k and that's it. So we wanted to bound k and we have. So that's a very nice solution to a very nice problem. So with that I want to end this. As usual like, comment, share, subscribe and I will see you next time.